Nigerian music legend, Sir Victor Whitehorse showmanship was matchless. The theatrics that surrounds his performances embellishes his obvious musical talent. He was a perfect The Guitar Boy showman. As the light falls on his time in this world, his legacy, especially within the music circle, lives on. His nephew and adopted son, Peter Waifo, is also a recording artist who only recorded a collaboration with Waifo just days before he passed. He said Victor Waifo raised him as one of his children after his father Clement Waifo passed when he was only seven years. He's always fun to be with. Whenever I'm with him, I always have this joy. I always have this happiness inside of me. I always feel this greatness inside of me. There was one flute he did. He invented it in another form. He called me. There was one guitar he also did. He made the, the first strings to become double. It has never been like that before. He said of six strings, it was not seven. He also has uh, a guitar that has three strings of guitar and three strings of bass. That means he can actually play the guitar and the bass together. Joromi, Joromi. Within the raving Afrobeat lane, singers Simi and J1 respectively sampled the chorus of one of his most successful numbers, Joromi. J1, in particular, is heavily distraught about the passing of the legend. Believe me, you when when you talk about Nigerian music industry, you know once you are calling the likes of you know, King Sonia Day, you are calling the likes of South Victor Waifo, you are calling, you know, Ebenezer Obe, all these people, they are the people that, that we grew up listening to. I, I always say that I did not grow up listening to Michael Jackson. And as the music community, government, fans and music lovers mourn the one who taught the world never to run away from mermaids if they saw one, his many classics will definitely live on to tell generations yet unborn about his musical prowess. Living legends!